Hello there, welcome to Hume DIY. I'm Chris, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in your ceiling to create an access point and how to install an access door in that ceiling. Let's go. So, the first step here is to decide where you want this access point. In my house, I didn't have access to half of the house. So I had to create one in my closet, and then I also cut a hole in my master bedroom. Now for the master bedroom, I ended up sealing it back off. So I didn't need an access point there. Um, I just covered it back up with plaster, and then we're good to go. Now for my other room, I put the access point in the closet. And I put it there because I didn't want to have to deal with its, you know, it's kind of ugly access points are. And so I just didn't want to have to deal with it and have to make it pretty. Uh, or look at it. So the closet worked out, had enough space, and so you need to decide where you want to put yours. Another point to this is you want to make sure you're not cutting into pipes or electricity, electric lines, or stuff like that. So get your super duper handy uh, wire finders and find where you can actually cut a hole in your ceiling so it's safe. You know, maybe turn off your electricity before you start cutting, and then you know, finally start cutting that hole. Now, also think about how you're gonna get to this access point. If it's in a bad location, like can you put a ladder there to climb up and to get into the attic? Or is it in a weird place? Is a bed gonna go there? Is a dresser gonna go there? Like find a good place where you can easily get to it, you can easily access this space. And the last point to this is decide whether you're going to install a ladder within the door or if you're just gonna install the door like I'm doing here in this video. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to decide how your trim looks. Now, I just bought some trim from Home Depot. It looks fine, but I'm putting mine in the closet so it doesn't have to be pretty. And then I'm simply just screwing this trim into the boards in the attic space. Now, if yours is in a hallway or in a room, you might wanna use just regular nails or screws, fill holes, and then do some painting on this trim to make it look good, to match the ceiling, whatever it may be. But for my purposes, I didn't really care how pretty it looked. After you cut your hole into your attic space, you're gonna wanna measure how wide, how long it is, and buy some trim so that you can cover this hole. After you cut the hole in your ceiling, notice that there's truss that run parallel in your attic space. You're gonna wanna cut that hole so you're in between the truss. And then you're gonna to wanna to put boards going perpendicular between the truss so that you have something to screw or to nail in the trim too. Now this is easily done. I use two by fours and then screw these two by fours into the truss. Pretty simple. Next up, you're gonna install the trim around the hole. Now the trim is going to sit halfway on the sheetrock and halfway hanging into the open space. And when these four come together, it makes a ledge for the door to sit on, which we'll get to in a second. But before we get to that, you're going to want to cut the board for the door. Now this board is going to sit on the, the edging of the trim. So cut it to size and then make sure it fits right. Now before you finish this project, I suggest getting some weather stripping. I got some from Home Depot. Once again, shout out Home Depot. I always get the Home Depot stuff. Um, get some weather stripping. Put it on the edge hanging out. Stick it on there. Smooth it out and then get the access door and put it on the weather stripping. This will create an airtight seal and stop the cool air from you know, evaporating into your attic space. Another step that you can do here, which I did, is to put insulation on this door. I got some styrofoam, I think it's like an R3 insulation somewhere in the very back of Home Depot, and I glue this on to the door. I try to use wood glow that of course didn't work, and then I used silicone caulking, and that was great. And I've used that before, I don't know why I tried wood glue. Um, but stick it on there, do multiple layers. So this door is about an R9, because it has three layers. You can continue to do more, or you can even get some batting and glue that on. And that actually should probably be better. But either way, do this so the hole isn't just a hot zone that's sucking up your air conditioning. Um, I had this problem in my old house, uh, but once I filled the holes and put insulation on the door, everything was magic. So put the insulation on the door and then sit the door on the weather stripping and voila, that is basically it. Now, once again, 
if you want it to be pretty, paint the door, do some caulking, make it look good, you know? And that's about it. That's how you cut a hole in your ceiling. That's how you put a door in your attic space. And that is how you do it. I don't know what else there is to say besides subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And for fun, tell me what's the craziest thing you found in your attic. Um, I haven't found many crazy things besides that huge pile of insulation and if you're curious about that go check out the video it's it's a fun time and that'll be all for this video I'll see you all there